We're at Harding County High School here in Buffalo, South Dakota, visiting with Casey Olson, the rancher's wrestling coach. And mm -hmm. uh, Casey, thanks for joining us here on Black Hills You're TV. Welcome. Thanks, yeah. thanks for the time. You bet. We appreciate it. And of course, uh, tell us uh, first before we get into wrestling season. I know you've already started, and we want to talk about the upcoming season. But uh, what's your background? Uh, was you a wrestler? Yep, uh, I wrestled here. I started my freshman year, and then. Uh, I sat out a year and worked in the oil field, and then I went to Brookings with my brother, and we wrestled down there for a year. And I couldn't stand the cold and humidity in Brookings, so we transferred back up to Dickinson. Okay. And I wrestled there for two years. Okay. Got some good wrestling stories? Oh, a few, but none I don't think I'll share on, on the air, I guess. <laughs> so. Sounds good. And, you're, and you graduate, graduated right here at Harding County High School? Yes, I did. Okay. Yep. Okay. Of course, I know you're a longtime rancher, your family here in, in Buffalo, or in the Buffalo area. Yes, okay. yep. No, okay. this is where my grand, great-grandfather homesteaded, and this I'm still one of the remnants that's still here. Yep. Of course, the wrestling season's already started, and uh, what's been going on so far? Well, we had our first little varsity home deal here Tuesday mm -hmm. night, a little kind of quad, and that was that was a good time, and then the community enjoyed it and got to see our boys. and. And the junior high season has been going for about a month now. And so their season's just winding down. They just got a week left and they will actually be done. So. Yeah. How many wrestlers, Casey, do you have and uh, who are some of your leaders? Well, uh, in junior high, we have uh, an eighth grader and, and uh, four seventh graders and a sixth grader out. And uh, they're pretty green. Our eighth grader has been actually wrestling for us for all through junior high and sixth grade. So he is going to wrestle heavyweight varsity this year. So he's moving up. In fact, he did the other night. And then uh, we got Sam Adams. He's our lone senior. And uh, he sat out last year with a knee injury. He blew up out an ACL in football. And uh, he was third the year before at 195 and he's back at 195 and we look to him to place at least that high and and we're really shooting for the championship this year and that's always you got to deal with injuries in a long season but i think sam works hard he can get that so and then we have a junior and uh he'd be our 182 pounder but he got hurt in football so he's going to be out until about the last five weeks of the season but we're just tickled we get him back. We're afraid we lost him for the whole year. Mm. And that'd be Richard Long. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then we have uh, two freshmen. Uh, Greg Gilbert will be our 220 pounder. And he actually qualified for state last year and went out one round away from meddling. So we're really hoping we can get him there back and get a medal this year for him. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Kate Costello, He's our 106 pounder, and he would have wrestled there last year, but he couldn't make the minimum. Okay. He's just now heavy enough where he can wrestle 106. Okay. So, um, and then our, of course, our eighth grader is going to be our heavyweight Clancy Adolph. Okay. So, and he's very green, and he's a little underweight. He weighs about that 225 pounds, but sure. he can't beat Gilbert and wrestle off, so he's moving up and wants to wrestle heavyweight. So okay. that's what he's going to do. If you have two wrestlers that are, say, equal size, equal strength, does it come down to technique? Oh, definitely, yes. Technique and, and well, sometimes it's just whoever wants it more. Mm -hmm. And and a lot of times, technique and, and all of that is great, but um, your endurance and how good a shape you are ultimately. Mm -hmm. If you get tired, you can't think, and then you do, you make silly mistakes, and a lot of times that's where you lose a match where I try to get these boys in shape good enough where they can wrestle the whole whole six minutes, just the first two like the last two. So and so build up their endurance. Yes, and that's I think that serves us more better than anything as far as physical or technique or anything. If we can get them in really good shape, that usually tends to be our ace in the hole here in Harding County. Kind of like in football, those three-yard runs end up being five, six yards in the fourth quarter. Yes, exactly. Yep, yeah. same same premise. Yeah. Well, good luck this wrestling season, and uh, we appreciate you taking the time, and thanks for being right here on Black Hills TV. Well, thank you for coming up, and, and we're just glad to see you guys up here once in a while. It's nice to see you. Thank you. Thanks.